Story time with Fergie and friends. Hello, story time, Fergie and friends, and here we are. And how wonderful is this? What's under your hat? Oh my goodness, and here comes my hat. I wondered where you'd gone to with my hat. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. So, what's under your hat, Granny? Sarah, Duchess of York, illustrated by Vanessa Leibenberg. Two grannies all over the world. Tim and Ginny were off to visit Granny with a basket full of scrumptious biscuits they'd baked in this morning. I wonder what wise words Granny will have for us today, said Ginny. Tim grinned. And what will be under her enormous hat? <laughs> Let's find out. They skipped along the forest path to Granny's house. Rory and Teddy came too. Along the forbidden path and under the bridge of to nowhere, Hairy Gnome grumbled and groaned because he was lonely. So he asked Squirrel, find him some friends to play with. Well, he could have said, please, don't you think? Rory and Teddy were first to spot Squirrel and they'd like nothing better than a squirrel chase. They took off. Tim and Ginny ran after them. Suddenly the children skidded to a halt. Tim and Ginny knew never to go down the forbidden path and across the bridge to nowhere. <gasps> they hurried to Granny's to ask her advice. The dogs were already at Granny's when the children arrived. They had found their own way there. Mm -hmm. What's under your hat, Granny? They asked when they all sat down for afternoon tea. She smiled. Wise words, my dearest Tim and Ginny. What's in your basket, they asked. Sparkling sprinkles and scrumptious sizzle sticks, she said. They sat together on the little bench near the stream, munching away. Rory and Teddy sniffed the air. <laughs> Where was Squirrel? Plop, plop. Who was dropping nuts? The stream swooshed and swirled by, and it was the perfect time to ask, What's under your hat, Granny? Wise words, children. Since you have been so patient, I will show you. Granny took off her hat with a flourish. Tim and Ginny gasped in surprise. Four little purple pouches. Granny opened each one and read the message aloud. If you lose your way, don't be frightened or stray, and you will have a beautiful day. Even if the path ahead seems to veer, keep on going and home will appear. Sometimes grown-ups say no without you understanding why you shouldn't go. It is good to listen and learn, for it will make them happy rather than snappy. Always be kind, even when others seem unkind. Sometimes people live in fear and shout and scream, so make them beam and hold them very dear. Love your golden souls, whatever they be. We are not all the same, but we are all free. So seek the goodness in their hearts and you will see their eyes full of glee. Granny replaced the envelopes in her hat and popped it back on her head. She smiled and said, thank you for coming to see me. What a treat. Now off you go and be swift on your feet as the wood pigeon is calling you home. Granny waved goodbye from the gate, knowing the children were safe and not too late. Rory and Teddy ran ahead and could not resist another squirrel chase. They ran down the forbidden path and deep into the forest. No, shouted the children, come back. Rory and Teddy didn't listen. I have to catch them, said Tim. Ginny grabbed his arm. Remember Granny's wise words, she said. The children turned back towards home. The dogs will find their own way, said Ginny. I hope so, said Tim, but he kept calling them anyway. Just as the children arrived at the farm, they heard excited yapping behind them. A rabbit flashed by, closely followed by Rory and Teddy. Tim and Ginny greeted them with shouts of delight and they all went indoors for tea. <gasps> Next morning, the children were playing outdoors with the dogs when the squirrel appeared. Hairy Gnome was there too, watching from a distance. Tim remembered Granny's wise words of friendship. Hello, Tim said. Hairy Gnome looked behind him. No one was there. Who? Me? he asked. Tim nodded. Come on, Mr. Gnome, you can play with us. Ginny held out her hand to him. Yes, she said, we will be your friends. They all ran around the garden together. Even the dogs and squirrels shared acorns. From that day forward, the Hairy Gnome was never lonely. Granny's wise words saved the day. What a lovely book and how exciting. So always remember to be kind. With Fergie and friends, with Fergie and friends.